What's up everybody? Welcome to Rotor Right Workbench. I'm Let's Fly RC and today I'm going to walk you through how to safely charge your 4S batteries with your Toolkit RC M4 AC battery charger. This AC powered Toolkit RC battery charger is perfect for charging 4 cell batteries because it has a 4 cell battery port right on the side for balancing your batteries. This port is used to keep all of the cells internally on this four cell battery to make them have an equal charge on all four cells, which will make them last longer and perform better. A four cell battery has four individual cells, and this battery charger is specifically designed to charge 4S batteries because the charging port has the exact number of pins for a four cell battery, which makes it a very safe charger for charging four cell batteries. It can also be used to charge three cell and two cell batteries as long as you orient the balance port in the proper location. You wanna make sure that the negative terminal is all the way to the left hand side on this balance port when plugging it in if you do charge a two cell or three cell battery. Since most of the drones you'll be purchasing this battery charger for at Rotorette are four cell batteries, we're gonna walk you through how to charge a four cell battery safely and properly with this battery charger. One of the most important safety tips in charging batteries is to be sure to never leave them unattended when charging. The Toolkit RC battery charger works both at 120 volts and at 240 volts. Plug it into a power outlet and we'll get started. Before you plug in the battery, be sure that your battery charger is set to the proper charging state, depending on how fast you want to charge it, and to what voltage you want to end. At the top, you'll see the individual cell voltage that your battery will charge to if plugged into the battery charger. 4.2 volts is a standard number that you would regularly want to charge your batteries to. 4.35 volts is only for high voltage batteries and shouldn't be used with these two battery types. 3.85 and 3.60 are for storage charging your batteries. The second row here shows you the rate of the charge in amps. And depending on the type of battery you're charging, charging at too high of an amperage can be damaging to your battery. A good rule of thumb is to take the milliamp hour reading of your battery, divide by a thousand, and that's considered one C charge rate. On a 1500 milliamp hour battery, that would be 1.5 amps. And that's what we would want to charge this battery at if we wanted to do it safely. Some people choose to charge their batteries faster, and if you do that, you're taking a risk on damaging your battery over time and possibly even creating a fire. So to charge safely, we always recommend to charge at 1C charge rate, and on a fuel cell 1500, that would be 1.5 amps. On a Tattoo 850, that would be 0.85 amps. This battery charger offers charge rates of 0.5 amps, 1 amp, 2 amps, or 2.5 amps for a maximum charge rate. The fuel cell 1500 milliamp hour battery should be charged at one amp to be done safely to be one C or less. And the Tattoo 850 milliamp hour battery should be charged at 0.5 amps if you wanna safely charge the battery at one C or less. After you have your charger set with the proper end voltage and the proper charge rate, once you plug in the battery, it'll automatically begin to charge. We're gonna plug in our XT60 connector into the yellow port on the bottom. Notice there's a pointy end and a square end. Make sure to line it up properly when plugging it in. Next, we'll plug in our balance port. Notice that we have tabs sticking up on one side and metal slots on the other side. Let's line it up so that the metal slots are facing up and plug it in to the 4S battery port. Now, as you can see, the charger has recognized the battery as a 4S battery and it started charging automatically. When the charge is finished, you'll see a green bar at the top of the charger and the words completed to let you know that the battery is finished charging. Now that our battery is finished charging, we can unplug it from the charger and place it into a LiPo safe bag available at rotorriot.com until we're ready to go fly. Be sure to store your batteries in a safe place, preferably in a metal can or a LiPo safe bag, and be sure that when you store your batteries, they are set to a storage charge. Keeping batteries stored in a charged state can be dangerous and make their life expectancy a lot less. To storage charge the battery, set the charger to 3.85 volts and plug in the battery and it will equalize all the cells and safely storage charge the battery down to 3.6 volts per cell. Thanks for watching guys. Let us know in the comments which batteries you're gonna be charging with your Toolkit RC battery charger. And if this video was helpful, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more content like this. I'm Let's Fly RC, and we'll see you next time on Rotary at Workbench.